Good morning students. Today in our English grammar period, I am going to start with chapter 4, the adjective review. As we completed chapter 1, 2 and 3, so I hope so that you people read it, the chapter and done revision of that chapter. Now, let's start with chapter 4, the adjective review. First of all, what is adjective? An adjective is a describing word. It qualifies a noun or a pronoun adding to the meaning of it. So, words to qualify we need words to qualify a noun or a pronoun. For example, Pratibha is an intelligent girl. So in this intelligent, it's a adjective. I found this pen lying here. So this, it's a adjective. Then after, adjectives are divided into different kinds. They are adjectives of quality, adjectives of quantity, adjectives of number, possessive adjectives, demonstrative adjectives, interrogative adjectives. Adjectives of quality they refer to some quality of the nouns or pronouns. Generally, they are used before nouns, but they are also used before nouns and pronouns. For example, Sunil is a strong boy. Sunil is tall. The juggler is wearing a red shirt and yellow trousers. The tiger is a fierce animal. So in all sentences, strong, tall, red, yellow, fierce, they all are adjective words. So adjectives of quality tells us of what kind. Then adjectives of Quantity. They refer to how much of a thing is mean. How much. For example, there is no water in the bucket. Give the beggar some rice. He has saved enough money for a rainy day. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. So, the uncountable nouns such as grass, hair, rice, water, etc. can show us the quantity of the thing mentioned. So, adjectives of quantity show us how much of a thing is mean. Adjectives of number. They show how many persons or things are mean. They also refer to their position. For example, no girl was present in the class. Some boys were found quarreling among themselves. There are 20 boys and 17 girls in our class. He was the last man to leave the home. So, we can say that countable nouns such as pan, coin, boy, ear, etc. can be expressed in numbers or can be shown in what positions they are placed. So, adjectives of quantity answer how many or in what order. 
पजिसिव एडजेक्टिव वर्ड्स दैट शो पजिशन बिलोंग टू दिस ग्रुप दे ऑल्सो यूज बिफोर नाउन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल हीज अंकल इज एन ऑनेस्ट पर्सन हैनरी बोरोड माई पेंस शी रिस्पेक्ट्स एंड ओबीज हर पेरेंट्स दे हैव सोल्ड देर कार सो पजिसिव एडजेक्टिव शो पजिशंस Now, demonstrative adjectives. They are used to point out persons or things. They are also used before nouns. For example, this man is completely deaf. They chair. That chair has only three legs. Those boys are making a loud noise. Don't. play with this sharp tools so demonstrative adjective it's point out person or in demonstrative adjective these this and that are used before singular nouns and these and those are used with plural nouns they point out the nouns which are placed immediately after them and hence they are called demonstrative adjectives interrogative adjectives the words what which and whose become interrogative adjectives when they make questions and used with nouns for example what gift will you give her on diwali which book is yours whose pen is this so the words what which whose are used with nouns to ask questions and hence they are called interrogative adjective now students have a look on exercise portion of this chapter underline the adjectives and mention the kind of each of the underlined words so what we have to do we have to underline the adjectives and we have to mention kind of each of the underlined words my brother won the first prize so in this my possessive adjective adj i have written adjective in short form adjective first it's a adjective of number so underline my and first then after two a few vehicles were parked outside the conference hall so in this few underline few and now mention which kind it's a adjective of quantity then 3 whose presentation did the judges pick whose interrogative adjective 4 the answers are lengthy but easy to understand these demonstrative adjective lengthy easy the two word lengthy easy it's an adjective of quality then five my friend khushi is visiting me this afternoon my possessive adjective this demonstrative adjective no stone was left unturned no adjective of quantity seven 
we were the first team to arrive at the stadium adjective of number so seven we were the first team to arrive at the stadium first adjective of numbers then eight praveen gifted his mother an expensive perfume on her birthday expensive adjective of quality her possess possessive adjective nine i saw katrina's picture on a billboard katrina's it's a possessive adjective 10 it was reported that 11 passengers were seriously injured in the bus accident 11 adjective of number 11 Which pen is yours? I found three lying there. So in this, which underline three underline now mention which? It's a interrogative adjective three adjective of number twelve. I am very thirsty, but there is no water in the jug. So. thirsty adjective of quality no adjective of quantity exercise b fill in the blanks with suitable adjectives 1 every dark cloud has a silver lining we have to fill the blanks with the suitable adjectives so in first silver two what flavors would you like for your cake three dhoni is a brilliant student but his brother is weak four there is not enough water in the bucket to wash the utensils five Barack Obama the first African American president of the USA was awarded the Nobel Peace Prizes in 2009 six they are white washing their house seven the invitees arrived but found that no seats were reserved 8 laughter is the best medicine 9 the loud knock at the door woke me up 10 that girl looks like a princess from a fairy tale 11 a rolling stone gathers no moss 12 an early bird catches the worm so students i hope that now you more clear with this chapter after completing this exercise portion so once again just revise it do little bit revision of it we will meet in the next video till then take care of yourself stay at your home stay safe do little bit study also we will meet in the next video thank you goodbye